I uh, didn't want to bore you with all my wiring and soldering and everything here, but as per my normal mode of operation, I do the black wire for the back track, the white wire for the front track, and this is the back track here. So then, of course, this goes to the back latches, and this is the upper latch and the lower latch. We always put the black on the lower latch, and these this. This wire here and this wire here are the front two tracks, the main line and the passing siding. And there again we did the black wire to the top and the white wire to the bottom. And then we just fasten it in with the screws right here. And then of course the leads are just soldered in right here to the track. And then I put a little uh, polyfill on top of them to fill them in. So she's all wired up now. and. And she's ready for operation and, and the next step is to paint the track. Something I have started to do is masking the foam on the side of the uh, of the road bed. Rather this be cork or plywood or what have you because this uh, camouflage paint from Rust-Oleum and this painter's touch paint from Rust-Oleum even though it's good for plastic and everything else, it does attack the foam. And this time, I also have the added, added benefit of, of once I want to cover my, uh, my uh, culverts. So, anyways, I've already shaken this up, so... I like this camouflage brown. I've started using it because it's a nice uh, flat color. And uh, I tend to like using flat colors on my railroad. And I'll just get a nice even coat of paint on there. And now I'll go around to the back side so that I can get the back side of the rails. I think that's pretty good even coat on there. That's looking pretty good. Now, just to give her a little visual highlight, I'm just using a little of this gray primer here. Just to give her a little variation. You could uh, you could even touch it up with a black or, or something like that, or, or a lighter brown, just anything at all just to give the track ties a little variation and, and they won't look so bland. But anyways, there she is, all painted up. And then our next step is we'll go ahead and install our rock face and get our lake carved out and all that good stuff. Now that the track is all painted and all dried, uh, the next step you have to do is just clean off the top of the rails. I use it my old opal blades and just run along the straight one. Just like that. Go ahead and grab a nice little sanding sponge. I picked up this little little bitty thing. Can't remember where I got it now. I'm about to do to find a new one, but but uh, just get your rail nice and clean. Okay, now that's nice and clean. So the next thing to do is check for 
for electrical conductivity. So I have an old Thomas uh, power pack here from Bachman. Just turn on some power. Then I got a 12 volt engine test light and I can check down here at the bottom. I've got light there and I should also have light here. And I should also have a light here and one there. And then if I turn down the power, it should get dimmer and then it should get brighter. Just like that. So obviously the, the uh, front track's working okay. So now we have to hook it up to the back track. Well, that was a little more difficult. I'm just going to turn this on and we'll just do it uh, this way. So we got juice there, so we're good to go. Let's go ahead and turn her down. And it's nice and dim. Yep, so our electrical is all good on this, so we're ready to go to the next step. Okay, I'm going to put down some foam here, and uh, I kind of went ahead and, and pre-cut some here to, to do the bottom layer. So I'm going to go to my trusty Gorilla Glue, put a little, uh, a little glue on here. And then I'll do this one. Now that we've got that done, we have to give her a little wetting. Say like wetting? We gotta wet this thing. Alright, she's got her wetting down good. So I'll put you in place here. This one in place here, right here, after I wet it down. Wet down the next one. care of that. You can see where I have the rough in shape of my waterfall. So the next step, the next layer of foam, this one happens to be in one piece. Put down a little Gorilla Glue. It doesn't have to be a big heavy layer on here. It just, it just has to be enough just to hold her. If you get it close to the edges, and of course it's going to squeeze out some once, you, once it starts to expand, so you don't want to do that too much unless you want it to squeeze out. Okay, this is, there we go, that's kind of the place. See, I pre-cut these, pre-cut pre these, and I'm just trying to put them back where they were. And this will be the lake area, and this will be where the river comes out. So let's go ahead and put a little grill of glue on here. wet this thing. There we go. Wet 
this one. on there. Keep it flat. There we go. She's all weighted down. So just let that set for three or four hours and then we get to start the fun part. We get to start carving that thing. So until then, have a good one. <laughs>